The global economy right now is in a state of flux. With a global recession looming, many experts are predicting that we'll start to feel the impacts of economic downturn very soon, on top of recent increases in inflation. If you're worried about how you'll survive economically, you're not alone. Having been through two recessions in my career, there are things you can do to prepare yourself and things you should avoid doing during periods of low or negative economic growth. Here are seven tips on how to survive from someone who's been there before. Number one, recession-proof your income. One of the best things you can do to prepare is make sure your income is as stable as possible. If you're employed, this may mean hanging on to your job and avoiding any unnecessary career risks, as during recessions, the unemployment rate typically rises, meaning there are fewer job opportunities available. Try to make yourself more valuable to your employer while keeping an eye on what the job market is doing. If you're self-employed, it may mean diversifying your client base or finding new ways to market your services. Number two, have an emergency fund. No matter how stable your income is, it's always a good idea to have an emergency fund to fall back on in case of unforeseen circumstances such as job loss. Aim to have enough money put away somewhere to cover three to six months of living expenses. This will guard you against short-term periods of financial instability should they arise. Number three, learn to live below your means. Which means spending less than you earn and saving as much money as possible. In other words, you have money left over from your paycheck at the end of the month. Some ways to achieve this include making a commitment to yourself to stop living above your means, being more mindful about your spending, pausing any major purchase decisions, and creating a budget for yourself. If you can get into the habit of living below your means, it's much easier to weather any economic downturns. Number four, get rid of high interest debt. Getting rid of or paying down any non-essential debt you have frees up more cash flow to cover expenses should you experience any fall in income or increase in your cost of living. During recessions, central banks usually put up interest rates in attempt to control inflation, so it may make sense to pay down as much high interest debt as possible to cushion yourself against higher interest charges appearing on your statements. Focus on paying off high interest debt first such as credit cards or personal loans. For lower interest debts, such as fixed rate mortgage, it may make more sense not to overpay these and to instead utilize your cash flow towards building your emergency fund. Number five, cut unnecessary expenses. Now is a good time to take a look at your spending and see if there are any areas where you can cut back. This may include things like eating out less often, canceling subscriptions or cutting back on unnecessary luxuries. Reducing your expenses now, where you can, will free up more cash flow to protect you against the negative effects of a recession. Number six, build multiple streams of income. If you want to survive a recession, having multiple diverse streams of income means you're less likely to be affected should any one of them fail. This can include things like having a side hustle, taking a second job, investing in real estate or stocks. There are lots of things you can do as a side hustle besides obvious ones such as Uber driving. Take a look at sites like Fiverr or TaskRabbit to give you some ideas of what personal services you might be able to offer as a side hustle. Investing more into real estate or stocks during a recession can actually be a wise idea, as there are more properties and stocks being sold at a discount, enabling you to make a healthy profit when markets bounce back. If you're putting money into stocks, invest in well-managed companies that have low debt and strong cash flow and balance sheets. Some sectors which tend to perform well during recessions are healthcare, consumer staples such as food and drink makers, grocery stores, discount retailers, and utility companies. The aim of having multiple income streams is not only to increase your cash flow, but also more importantly to diversify and spread your risk. Number seven, invest in yourself. Perhaps one of the most important assets you can invest in is yourself. This could be through continuing your education, learning new skills or networking with other professionals and co-workers. Increasing your own personal value will help make you more marketable and employable, which can be key during tough economic times. That wraps up my seven tips on how to survive a recession from someone who's been there before. 
I hope you found this video interesting. Let us know in the comments finance topics you'd like to see covered in the next videos. Take a look at some of our other content. Click on the subscribe button if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.